Hello everyone, this is Orange Coconut Cream here again with my second review of the day and my second official review of all time. Uh, so this time I'm going to review a Yankee candle in the scent Campfire Treat, or in French, Gatri Crier. As you can see, it's the Canadian um, version of the Canadian label. Uh, so I actually purchased this last August, so I've had it for coming up to close to a year now, um, but I haven't burned it down yet. Uh, it's actually, this is actually the very first Yankee Candle that I ever purchased, and it's actually kind of what got me into Yankee in the first place, because to start off with, the scent throw on this is, it's pretty decent. Like, when I first got it, I wasn't accustomed to burning scented candles and really expecting much out of them, if that makes any sense. I remember I was actually home in Nova Scotia for the summer and at my parents' house. I was home alone and I put this up on the mantelpiece and lit it. And I had gone to my room and I came back out in the living room and when I came out, like, the whole living room and kitchen was filled with this really, oh, just rich, like, marshmallow scent. Um, and it was almost overwhelming at the time. Now, I still smell it, but it's definitely not what I would call overwhelming uh, at all. Um, so, clearly, this is the large jar candle, which I'm sure you're used to seeing. And I've been burning it with an Illumilid. I definitely have not been burning it with an Illumilid from the beginning. I didn't used to have an Illumilid. Um, these are the only Illuminids I... Illuminids, Illumilids I currently have, but I love them, like, it's the Americana collection, they still have them, uh, with the stars, so it's pretty awesome. Uh, I've had this burning here for how long? Quite a while now, like, pretty much all morning, and so it has a fairly deep, even wax pool. One thing that I haven't been doing at all is trimming my wicks, hence all the black um, wick droppings in the candle. That sounded awkward, but wick droppings in the candle. So that is my fault. Uh, you can't see them after the, the wax dries up, if that makes any sense, like when you're done burning it. But that's really inconsequential to me. Um, to be honest, this candle is great, but I'm sure there are better marshmallow scents out there because in the past year or so, after I've been getting into candles, I find like most candle vendors have been coming out with some sort of marshmallow, um, roasted marshmallow scent. However, this is the only one that I have tried, so I cannot really, I'm not in a position to compare it, but it's decent. Um, I would recommend it. It's definitely, it's not my favorite candle, obviously, or I would have burnt it uh, to the bottom by now. <laughs> But it's probably one of Yankee's better ones that I've personally tried in terms of the sun throw. So I'm not going to go on really. Uh, well, one last point. It hasn't um, produced much soot at all, which is rare for a Yankee really. I mean, at some point I figure it probably will, but that doesn't really bother me that much because you can easily just clean it up. Plus it's kind of like goes along with burning a candle is having a little bit of soot. Um, yeah, so, and one thing I just want to point out is I hardly get any, I actually can buy Yankees, like, at the drugstore here in Canada, and you can tell when it's made for the Canadian market, because the French and English writing is of equal size, and needs to be that way to be sold in Quebec, I believe, because they have very strict language laws, and instead of saying America's Best Love Candle, it has the address of the South Deerfield flagship location, I think. Uh, so that's that. And also, the candle um, size reporter in grams instead of ounces. Anyway, so I'll end up, end up, end this review. Uh, and maybe I'll even start another one because goodness knows I have a lot of candles. All right, have a fantastic day. And rate, comment, and subscribe if I even ever get any subscribers, which I probably won't. Bye.